YouTube, Electric Adventures here with a quick pick up and play video. Um, it came in one of these dreaded things though, so just a padded bag. And yes, it is a boxed item, so leaving some grumpy feedback. Now, I did know the box wasn't in fantastic condition. This is a title for the Coleco Vision that I've had my eye on for a while. It's actually a game for the system that I've never played at all. Um, and I've had to watch some couple of titles, but they have been, you know, they're, they're, they're way up there, like $50 US plus postage getting it over here and things like that. So I thought, you know, um, I'd grab this copy because it was cheaper. And it is Frenzy. Um, and the box was listed as being in pretty rough shape, but because of its journey, it's been squashed down the bottom here. I should be able to get it back a bit better. As you can see, it is a bit rough on the side, although it was like that in the pictures. And the back, which is actually really interesting for a Coleco game, not they don't normally have um, different artwork on the back. I actually quite like that as well. And Frenzy, for those who don't know, is the sequel to Berserk. Um, not that Berserk was ever made for the Coleco. Now there's no manual or anything like that, but I said I haven't paid a lot of money for this, and I don't even have a loose cartridge of this. And the cartridge is in excellent condition. So, um, I do, um, for those who watch my channel a lot, know that I, you know, like the Coleco, and I even write games for it myself. Um, and it's nice to add another title to the original Coleco collection, even if the box isn't fantastic, but it's better having a box than not. I'm not 100% sure whether I'm going to be able to get this old sale sticker off without damaging the box even more, but I can maybe have a bit of a go later, and I'll put something in the bottom of this box just to give it some, you know, structure, and um, hopefully it'll improve over time, or I can maybe, um, you know, flatten it. Flatten it, fold it right down and iron it as well if it uh, doesn't um, knit itself up. But the cartridge is, is in good condition. So, as I said, this is a quick pick up and play video, so I'll stop waffling. Let's go check it out on the Coleco. Right, so here we go with Frenzy for the Coleco. Um, you'll have to excuse me, this is the first time I've um, done a recording on the side of the room since I've put this new TV, so you're a little bit high when I have to look at putting the. Um, the face cam in another spot, and plus my headphone won't fit the large socket in the front of this TV till I get an adapter, so hopefully the audio will be okay. So it's like Berserk, you have to try and clear the room of the um, opposition robots. Um, you do have to be careful of the white walls because your shots bounce. and. The environment is destructible. Um, now I believe you can shoot the evil one so you get an unhappy. And if you do, he comes out and he comes out faster. I'm not sure how many points you get for that. Right, as soon as you get to the second maze, um, the robots are already. Got a sleeping Otto in the middle there. And I believe on these levels you have to be careful not to wake him up. Whoa! There we go, it got me. Berserk was an excellent game, but this takes the gameplay formula to another level. 
makes it look so low. Quite challenging. Oh, I should just let these guys bounce get him. Obviously I haven't played it before, so pretty bad. Bounces. You can see they're getting um, these come so fast. We'll have to find out what happens. <coughs> you just have to go a little bit. Oh, and he got me directly. Oh, well, I got, must have got an extra life. Well, this is a very playable. Ah, I got hit by a diagonal. Ah, uh, well, I suppose not too bad for my very first go at the game. Uh, a very welcome addition to the collection. Um, I've never played this game back in the day, so this is my very first gameplay ever, ever of this one. Um, I've actually wanted a copy of this for some time, um, so it was good finding that copy locally and saving a bit of money. The box is perfect, but oh well, you can't win everything. And it will still look nice on the shelf in the collection, and I've got, I can play the game. Alright, I'm Electric Adventures, thanks to all my subscribers. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.